Hi, welcome. I'm Julia and I work with kids yoga teachers to help them feel more confident and more competent in their kids yoga business and help grow it so that they can live wonderful, fulfilling lives and have a successful business that's aligned with their values. And so today I'm going to be talking all about my top tips for the first class um, of the year, of the term or of a set of classes. And um, I think that the first class that you teach in a series of sessions is really, really vital um, for setting the tone. And so there is this phrase in teaching, and I don't know if you've ever heard it, but this was definitely something that was said to me um, when I was a school teacher, and it was, don't smile till Christmas. I mean, it was just horrible, isn't it? But I think the idea is that if you don't smile till Christmas, then the children will learn to fear you and they will behave themselves. And if you set that kind of precedent that you're strict and you're scary, then your life will be easier because the children will behave themselves. And I actually think all that is a load of bullshit because um, my classes are built on respect and I don't feel like fear belongs in any of my classes um, or indeed any yoga classes at all. However, I do feel like that the, the, the first lesson that you teach um, with a group of children can really set the tone for the rest of those series of classes and also set the tone for the rest of the year or um, however long you're going to be working with them. And so um, that's not to say that you can't make changes throughout the year or throughout your time working with those people. You definitely can. Um, but I think that the the start of a series of lessons is, is such a kind of powerful and potent time. And it's one filled with hope and new resolutions. And it's very much like the start of a new year um, in the way that everybody wants to make a new start. Everybody thinks, OK, I'm going to be my best version of myself. And so... Um, I think it's a really great way to capitalise on that is to be really intentional about the first class that you teach. And so today I'm going to be sharing with you my top tips for the first session. So I've got three tips that I'm going to work through. So firstly, set yourself up for success. So ah, I, I really firmly believe that we as 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 people, as adults, we set the tone for everything. And so how we show up is gonna impact on how everybody else shows up. How we arrive and take space and present ourselves is what we're gonna see reflected back to us in the children. So if we are rushed, if we are stressed, if we are panicky, if we've got these kind of like worried, you know, facial expressions of like, oh dear, I don't know if what I'm going to do is going to work or oh I'm a bit running late or the children will pick up on that and they will also match your energy too and so um, setting yourself up for success for me looks like giving myself the best chance that I can in delivering a really fun and quality lesson and so for me personally that's about giving myself enough time timing is a big issue for me um, I mentioned it before I have ADHD and so timing can be problematic for me um, but I've learnt lots of tips and skills along the way to manage my time and so I give myself lots more time than I need to set up so arriving for me this personally looks like arriving with lots and lots of time in advance so that I can I can create the environment and so I can um, create the space how I want it to be and also so I can have chance to regulate myself and so for me I really love arriving in a space setting it up making it feel really um, exciting to look at and then having time to regulate myself so going to the toilet having a drink sitting and doing some breathing, maybe having a few stretches, maybe listening to a song or a music or, or um, a meditation to kind of ground myself. So I set myself up so that I'm regulated and calm and I'm ready to welcome the children uh, as they come into the space and welcome them into the space with a smile, maybe with some calm, friendly music, if that's what you, what you do. Um, and making sure that the, the space looks 
organized and exciting for the children to look at um, and so for me that looks like having the mats already set out having the props already set out having all of my resources in then organized in the order in which I'm going to teach them so it's giving my time myself space and time to be regulated and calm so that I can meet the children in in a positive way so that's my first tip setting yourself up for success and it may be um, that you need to do other situations other situations it may be that you need to do other things to help you to do this so for example for me I have children and mornings can be kind of chaotic actually so I like to set up my all of my resources and props and things the night before in my car even my lunch I don't put my lunch in the night before I put that in the fridge but you know things like making my lunch making my drinks making my snacks having them ready in the fridge to, ready to go loading the car up so that if anything happens in the morning with my children and their drama and their PE kit and they've forgotten they've lost a shoe or you know all the rest of it my work stuff's already in my car now this is personal to me I understand not everybody has children not everybody has the same situation or setup that I do but I'm just sharing with you from my experience what works best for me so I load my car the night before I make my lunch the night before ideally and then um, I'm ready to to go and then I arrive at the school with lots of time I mean you your your class might not be in a school but arrive at the setting with plenty of time to set up and plenty of time to go for a drink or go to the toilet and everything beforehand so that's my first thing um, the second thing is to set the children up for success so being really clear about boundaries and expectations and rules um, is really really important I do this every single week but it's especially important at the beginning of term and so I like to do this before they even come to the yoga mats so I'm very lucky that in all of the places where I teach at the moment children come in and there's like either benches or there's space at the edge so they come in I welcome them at the door whichever door they're coming through <laughs> I've got a couple of halls where they could come through like any one of four doors so I have to remember which class comes from where so that I can like be prepared to smile at them as they come in and then they sit down away from the mats and that's where they take their shoes off and that's where I talk to them about their my expectations really clear with them about my boundaries my expectations um, and also make it really clear with what they can expect from the lessons so what's the lesson going to be like what's the purpose of the lesson why are we all here why are we in the hall why are we taking our shoes off um so that they know what it's about what you're about what they can expect from you in terms of the content of the lessons what can they can expect from you in terms of your expectations and your rules and so the more information you can share at this point in a clear way the better it is for the children because they're getting that reassurance from you and it helps them to feel safe and it helps them to know that they can trust you and it helps them um, to just be ready for the session it can feel very vulnerable for some children to be coming into the hall and meeting somebody new and even if you are um, not new to them it can still feel strange and different and uncomfortable so giving as much information as you can about what's going to be delivered how you're going to deliver it and what you expect from them is really really powerful here so if you need some support with this and you're not really sure like what your boundaries are then why don't you check out my um, get real with rules freebie this is where i share my own rules and you can either use the my rules or you can you can change them and make them your own and so there's a little guide that goes with it and a freebie and i'll tag it in the bottom here and so that's that's the the rules freebie there's also a video called um boost behavior in your kids yoga classes something like that that's a free video I'll tag that in so if if behavior is something that worries you then um, have a look at that if you feel like 
actually behavior is an issue for you and something that you'd like to really um, overcome and start the year at how you mean to go on and really improve behavior in your classes, then check out the training Tame the Crowd Without Being Loud. Um, this is a paid uh, a paid training um, but it's fairly low cost and it's um, online training with, that you can just access anytime and return back to any time. Um, I'm in the process of turning these online trainings into e-courses and so anyone who purchases it as an online training now as it is will also get access to the e-course when it's split into modules and things like that so that's tame the crowd without being loud and I'll, I'll tag that in that's if you are thinking about managing behavior or you're a little bit concerned about managing the behavior of, of children in your classes so I've talked about setting yourself up for success and setting the children up for success and my third thing again I've set it as my third thing but I think it should be the first thing and that is be positive so right from the start just know that all the children want to please you because they do that's that's the, the fact here is that all children really do want to please you and however they come across they do really want to um, and having the mindset of if they could they would will really help you here. So if you see that somebody is not doing something that they should be, just thinking, if they could, they would. And that, that can help you shift in your mind, like, okay, what do I need to do here to help them to, to be following the rules or to help them be accessing or doing what I'm expecting them to? And doing that from a positive aspect rather than from a kind of fear-based way that doesn't really help anyone so other things to consider when you're being positive is thinking about your cues so think about um your voice so are you, have you got a, a soft voice i mean obviously you need to be speaking clearly but a softer voice friendly voice open body language smiling eyes and face um and really clear communication so coming from a positive aspect all the time and this is the same for every session but especially true for your first session of working with children because the first session is where they're forming their opinion of you and they're like taking in all of their knowledge of like what you're offering and if you're coming to it stressed which you may well be feeling stressed because you may well be like shit this is the first time I've taught this class or I've never taught in this place before or I've never taught in this um this age group before or this number of children before or you can be feeling all those feelings but just make sure that the message that you're giving to the children is one of safety because they want to know that they can be safe with you so however anxious you may be feeling just be aware of how you're presenting yourself so the last thing I want to say is even if you've taught a group before and you think that they know you and you think that they know the rules and you think they know the expectations or what's, ex you know, don't assume because a, it's likely that a long time has passed. If this is the first of a series of lessons for a while, so they're coming back after a holiday um, or it's a new school year or something like that, or it's been a while, just remember that children's concept of time and our concept of time is very different and that's because the older you get the faster time appears to go and so children will actually if they've not seen you for two weeks that's a really long time for a child for us it's not a long time at all for them it's a really long time they'll have had all sorts of different experiences met with all sorts of different people in that time so make sure that you're remembering to see things from their perspective so remember to be clear again with your expectations remember everything don't assume anything don't think that because they know don't think that they know you another thing to consider is there may well be new children there in your group now obviously if this is a club like an extra school like an uh, extracurricular club then you would know that you've got some new children coming but if it's a school class where you're teaching groups of children you may not be aware if there are newly arrived pupils into the class so you don't know like what experience those children have and so at the beginning of every session like reframing that and reminding that is really important 
especially at the beginning of term. And then also be aware that even if you think you know the children, something may have happened in their life that really impacts the way that they are experiencing the world. So they may have experienced some trauma, something may have happened, that a significant change may have occurred in their life that you know nothing about. And so always just don't assume and remember to start off how you mean to go on, positive, open, being clear about your boundaries and expectations. Okay, so I hope that you found that really useful. And um, if you did, let me know. And also like and subscribe to the channel if you found it helpful. And sign up to my newsletter if you haven't already. And feel free to email me, julia at juliahankins.co.uk um, if there's something you'd like me to talk about in any of these trainings. Also, um, I'm about to be launching my new six month mentoring packages. If you would like to be first to know about the mentoring, um, please message me uh, or email me at Julia Hankins, Julia at juliahankins.co.uk and I will make sure to add you to the first to know list about the new mentor packaging that I'm learning that I'm launching, not learning. <laughs> um, and also, if you, if any of this is confusing to you and you'd like to work with me as a one-off, just a one-off session to talk through anything or to help you plan for the beginning of the year, then do um, reach out and get in touch because I do also do one-off sessions working with people. So, um, and that's via online. So uh, yeah, feel free to reach out to me. And um, thanks for watching.